Hello guys and welcome to another Trek Ahead video and today we got Suzuka Circuit Group 2 Racing Medium Tires and I tried to do this one a little bit earlier than usual so it's Sunday rather than Monday uh, I think most of the good stuff on this track should remain the same like the breaking points, uh, the gears and everything else I've even had a look at my previous guide that I did like a year ago I mean it pretty much stays the same just the times will be slightly different I guess tomorrow but in general that's about it so without further ado Let's get going. Alright, the first thing you want to do is like get a pretty good exit from the last chicane just to carry more speed onto the main straight. And here we go, I'm using braking bias mon minus one, but I think zero should stay. I think it's okay to use zero. Just at the 50 meter board, I start turning in right before that, and then I look at the curb. So right before the curb, I try to put at least 50 to 60% of the brakes, more or less than that. I mean, could cause it a little bit of a problem because the car will start to slide, but I think about 50% is just about enough. So I'm trying trying to get the late part of the apex so I can carry more speed and that's pretty much about it so you want to minimize sliding but still carrying the speed around the turn so here I'm uh, just modifying my throttle a bit so yeah about 50% and then when I reach the beginning of the curb on the right this is where I just put a little bit of braking not much uh, basically like 10-15% should do the work and once again here looking at the curb I had no previous markers so I'm very sorry about that but just there isn't any around there uh, once again the curb 50 yeah, 15 20 percent I think it's right about enough to ride the curb because the, the curb rotates the car once again try to put the car as much as you can to the right side of the track and then just a quick lift to get on the curb and then quickly in fourth gear off uh, yeah off to the track and there we go so it I think the good part of that is not really pushing it there too much because you can kind of outdrive the car and actually go wide so 50% there uh, sorry 50 uh, 50 meter mark there I'm trying to turn in and then I mean even without braking I think that should work but just a little tap on the brakes while looking at the left and then you downshift in the second gear you want to use as much as the that Astro on the right uh, as much as you can but I mean it, I did what I had to do just to stay on the track with because it's a pretty tricky section so right when you pass the curb here on the right then you have the Dunlop sign break straight at the Dunlop sign and then when you get to the, this gray mark you can start turning in so a little bit before a little bit later it really depends on your style of driving but I like to clip the curb get the car in second start pushing the power down in first and then up shifting in second why am I doing that? Because I want to minimize the slide out of the car and then actually get the better exit onto this straight, which is kind of not a straight, but you know, just it's a long, long, uh, long, long curve. So once again, I'm looking at the right. You can see the gap down there. So try to break hard, but for a very, very short while. You can see I didn't even reach the 100%. I just quickly went off to carry more speed. If you stay on the throttle, I mean, you can get a little bit of that understeer right about at this section, but I try to break as a little bit, let the car rotate on its own and then smash the power down it's in third gear. So rotating in second and then up shifting into third to carry more speed. And as I said before, you don't want to put a little bit of the throttle down because it's, it can cause a quite, of, uh, quite a lot of understeer, which is not good, especially in that section. So 50 meter, po uh, 50 meter sign, this is where you turn in. And I'm kind of looking at the transition. I don't know if I can see it, but it's kind of uh, going from, from the grass to literally descent. And this is where I break when, right after in between, I would say 150 and the 100, 125 is pretty much okay. And then at the 50 meter sign, you start turning in and then really cutting that part really really cutting that part and staying on the right hand side of the track and i got 46.5 i think this is a good benchmark for tomorrow we will see but yeah i think it's gonna it's gonna help you to make your lap better tomorrow and what can i say guys good luck and i'll catch you guys next time bye